In this video, we will demonstrate how to export the payment processing file, convert that file, and upload it to your Club Connect AR. Clubs will have the ability to gather the payments collected within a report by way of the EFT portal seen here, which will provide you with a text file that can be uploaded to your back office system to update your accounting system of all payments and convenience fees received such that payment amounts are applied to the member's receivables and any applicable convenience fees are posted to a revenue GL account. Upon logging into the EFT website, you will be prompted to enter your email and password. Upon clicking Login, you will be prompted to enter a six-digit code that will be sent to the email address entered in the previous screen. Once you've entered your code, go ahead and click Validate. The report we need for our upload can be found under Reports and Custom Payments Report. All the fields required for the report have already been checked for you, so there is no need to make any edits. The only thing you do need to adjust is when your payments occurred on or after and on or before. You can do a time range if you like, or if you are exporting your custom report every day, we can click on our dropdown, select today's date, as well as today's date, and the text file that we export will only include payments made on that date. From here, we can just scroll to the bottom of the screen, and all you have to do is click export. That will download the text file for you, and if we go ahead and click on that, Here's an example of what your text file is going to look like. ACH payments may take 3 to 5 days to process depending on your bank. Note that payments will only appear in the text file once they have been processed and will be listed as the date processed, not the date the payment was made. In order to obtain the payment processing file, i.e. the text file, it must be exported from the EFT website as seen in the previous step. It is recommended that you save the text file in a new folder called ETS on your network or shared drive. Please ensure that the ETS folder is not created within too many subfolders as it may exceed the folder path character limit when attempting to upload. Our next step is to create a revenue code. And this is a one-time setup. So we're going to go ahead and navigate over to our accounts receivable. And we're going to navigate over to options, revenues, and revenue codes. For any clubs with more than one receivable, you can edit the transactions after the import and change the payment code to a different payment code which applies to the second, third, or fourth receivable. Within the general tab, we're going to enter the following information. Our revenue number will be OLP. Our name of service can be online payments. The message on statements can be online payment received or thank you, whatever you like in here. You'll want to enter your debit and credit account information and make sure treat as payment and credit revenue code are checked. Once you have all that information, you can go ahead and click save and add. We're just going to close out of here for now. Now that we have our revenue code, we can go ahead and convert our text file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our ETS folder and we're going to double click on the Cho E3 payment file exporter. From here, you can go ahead and click on the three dots to select your file. In order to find your text file, just make sure you are on your text file format and double click on that file. For your revenue code, typically this is set to the OLP that we just created. The base amount of the payment is used to create the payment to be applied to the member's account. Because all the files do contain convenience fees, you will have to enter the convenience fee information. If you do not charge convenience fees, you don't have to upload the GL file into your general ledger. Note that the convenience fees will not be included in the payment amount applied to the member's account. The fields you see for convenience fees are used to create a file which can be imported into the general ledger as a journal entry to account for the convenience fees, i.e. admin fees. The convenience fee is charged to the member's credit card or bank account 
but the convenience fee is not included in the payment applied to the member's account. For the account number segments, the general account number can be made up into four segments. If your account numbers contain only two segments, you will make entries in the first two of the account number segments as seen here. If the account number you are utilizing does not contain an entry in one of those segments, you can enter spaces. So you want to make sure you enter your credit and debit account, as these accounts will be credited and debited with the total convenience fees. You also want to make sure you put the year, which will be in two digits, as well as the applicable pay period, i.e. the month, which will also be listed in two digits. Once you have completed the form, we're going to go ahead and click Create Import Files. You'll receive a pop-up that the export has been completed, and we can go ahead and click OK. Your entries as seen in the File Exporter Now will be saved for the next time you go and run an export, including our revenue code, as well as our convenience fee entries, will be pre-populated now each time you go to convert your files. So let's go ahead and close out of here. The new text file will automatically be saved in a new folder labeled Year, Month, Date that we ran the export. If we double click in the folder, you'll notice that it will contain a file for your accounts receivable as well as one for your general ledger. If the file contain an error, it will be noted in the Import Errors text file. Now that we've converted and exported our text file, we can go ahead and upload it into our accounts receivable. So, we'll navigate over to Accounts Receivable, Options, Data Entry, and Other Systems Interface. Within the Other Systems Interface window, we're going to fill in the following fields. For your transfer type, make sure this is on Club Connect Standard File, and for the path and file name, we're going to go ahead and click on the three dots to select our file. So we're going to go ahead and double click on the new folder we created just now and we're going to select our AR file by double clicking. Make sure you do include a default member number. This is where the charges will post to if any of the member numbers are invalid within the payment file. From here we can go ahead and click preview. This will display a preview of the member accounts for you. Once you're done reviewing the preview, we can go ahead and click close. The next step is to go ahead and click Report plus Import. This will open up another document of the member accounts, which we can also click Close out of. And we can now close out of our other systems interface. The next step is to edit, view, and post our transactions. So we're going to go ahead and navigate over to Options, Data Entry, and Sales and Payment Entry slash Edit. Just make sure you're on the Payments Entry tab, and here we will see that batch of payments that we just uploaded. From here, we're going to go ahead and click Post Payments, and Report and Post. Out of the three options, we're going to choose Posting Report by Member Number, and click OK. Once you've reviewed the document of Member Payments, we can go ahead and close out of here, and our payments have been posted. So we're just going to close out of our Enter Edit Transactions window. Now that we've uploaded and applied the member payments, we can go ahead and process our convenience fees. This is going to be done directly in our general ledger. From here, we're going to navigate over to Options, Data Entry, and Post Entries from Other Systems. Within the Post Entries from Other Systems window, the transfer type is going to be set over to our Club Connect payroll application. Then we're going to go ahead and click on the three dots to select our file. We will be able to find that in the same folder that we found our AR file, which we can double click on. Just ensure that your batch date and GL period are accurate as well. And click OK. Within your pop-up window, we can go ahead and click Preview and this will open up the documentation to show you the convenience fee posting. Go ahead to close out of here. Then within our pop-up window, we're just going to click OK to update. And within the Processing Complete window, we can also click OK. As a last bit, we can just take a look 
at our journal entries and also view those member payments to ensure everything's been posted correctly. To review the journal entry, we're going to go ahead and go to Options, Data Entry, and Journal Entries. Go ahead and select your GL period. And here we can see all the convenience fees that have been posted. We can also go ahead and view member payments. So we'll just navigate back over to our AR system. We're going to go over to Options and Member Inquiry. Go ahead and look for that member number. Click Enter. And we can see the payment that we just put through.